Howdy and happy small business Saturday. Bearded Texan here. Wanted to uh, bring to you a new company that's new to me. I actually uh, won a uh, giveaway on uh, the Bearded Scallywags uh, Facebook book group by a, a new company that I hadn't heard of. Um, company's name is Awaken NC LLC, uh, based out of North Carolina. Um, so I won this and I got the uh, stuff in the mail yesterday. And uh, I won myself their beard oil. The scent is cracking, as well as their beard butter. Ooh, that's right. And their beard balm. Um, just kind of opening this stuff up here in the box. Just wanted to uh, include you guys as I did that and uh, tell you a little bit about this company. I've actually been in contact with their owner. Uh, owner of the company's name is Matt Bemis. Um, he's a Christian guy. This is a Christian company, which I appreciate. Um, he's a married guy, a couple of kids, and a former truck driver. He uh, got hurt, um, and which uh, kind of left him disabled. And uh, he was uh, his actually his brother was was uh, bringing him beard oils and stuff to try. And and uh, being disabled, he thought maybe well I'll just try it, go out on my own, and uh, create my own. So that's what he did, and. Uh, yeah, you know, I mean, you got to deal with what God hands us. And, and I admire people that don't let their situation bring them down. Um, God will always help you out. You just got to be willing to accept that help and open those doors when he's knocking. So about the beard, beard oil. Um, let me just show you here. Uh, let's see. You know, it's a light, light, light based beard oil. Um, pretty basic. Um carriers it's a uh, jojoba oil coconut oil argan oil castor oil sweet almond oil grapeseed oil vitamin e and other essential oils um so nothing complex um but that's okay you know it's not getting into the bird type varieties the ostrich or emu which which is fine um that works for a lot of our bearded brothers out there uh, some of us prefer those those bird blends but uh you know there's nothing wrong with this carrier blend um, this is a newer company, came out in 2022, and uh, like I said, he's, uh, you know, trying to get his name out there, you know, and uh, doing what he's got to do to provide for his family. I know he's got three kids, so um, I told him, you know, hey, you know, I appreciate winning the winning the prize here, and I, you know, give a review once we uh, got it here and, and an unboxing. So, uh, as you see, here's the Kraken, and uh, the set profile on this one. Um, doesn't say it on the bottle, but I do have it on here. It's uh, it's kind of a, it's a woodsy scent. Can you smell it? First things I get is uh, it's an orange and like a frankincense scent, and uh, also has rum, amber, and balsam fir. So as you can probably imagine, you know this is uh, one that is right up the beard of Texans Alley with the different ingredients. So I'm just putting a little drop on my hand here. Yeah, yeah, that's a fresh, it's a fresh woodsy scent, is what I would say. You definitely get the, the frankincense. The orange is in the background, a little bit of rum, and the amber and fur are there too, but I get a lot of the frankincense as I smell it. I'm going to put it in my beard here, you know, just to get it in there. I've never had it in, so give me a minute here. Get that in my beard. Yeah, seems to absorb pretty well. Doesn't feel real oily or real greasy, which I appreciate because, you know, I also use other products. I use the beard butter too, and if it doesn't absorb into the skin, which this seems to absorb pretty quick, unless I just have dry skin, but uh, you never know here in Texas. But uh, yeah, no, it's got a good feel. Not oily, it's over in the skin pretty well. Um, yeah, so as you know, I use butter too. So give that a minute here. Just talk a bit bit more about this company. Like I said, uh, 
he's trying to get the word out. He's going to local fairs in North Carolina where he's from and flea markets and and uh, things like that and farmers markets to try to, you know, boost his business. And, uh, you know, he's got uh, some good stuff. I mean, definitely smells good. Feels good in the beard. Um, I'm going to roll with the butter here. A little butter in my... You see the texture? It's a nice texture here. Let's see here. Let me read the ingredients is this. This is coconut oil, jojoba oil. Uh, he's got hemp seed oil in here, so that's nice. I, I appreciate that. Argan, which is good. Uh, he also uses meadow foam seed oil. That's great. Grape seed oil, avocado oil, sweet almond oil, shea butter, and cocoa butter, along with the essential oils that are also in it. So he's actually got a really nice combination of oils and other ingredients that typically work really well for me you know even though i got a shorter beard now i still like to use it, it smells great yeah that's nice get that in here very nice it's nice but it's good feel to the beard nice and soft that's what i like nice and soft Let's see how it holds up here um scent is pretty so I wouldn't say it's super strong, but it's definitely noticeable. And hopefully we can get a six hours or so out of it. Um, but definitely nice. I mean, I, again, he has the, the beard balm as well. Um, I'm not gonna use the beard balm, obviously, because my hair is short right now. So I don't use beard balms a whole lot, but that doesn't mean we can't review it here just to let you know what we think about it. Um, pretty much the same ingredients um, as, as the butter, uh, aside from uh, mango butter and beeswax being added in so that's going to give you more of your hold you see the texture there um, but uh, let's put a little here see what I get see if I can get a little tack in there but not that I, my beard is really out of shape but it breaks down nice breaks down nice in the hand smells nice you know shouldn't use beard balm right after uh, butter but for the review's sake, I thought I put it in there, you know, but, uh, you know, just to say I have it in here. Uh, can't really tell the hold, obviously, because my hair is short and I don't really have a whole lot of concerns with that just yet until I let it grow out a little bit here. But uh, again, good stuff. Um, I would suggest them. Again, I love sporting small businesses and, you know, Matt Bemis with Awaken North Carolina LLC. Um, Definitely something I uh, definitely would, would try them out. And, uh, you know, again, they're a Christian-based company, which I support highly being a Christian man myself. Um, definitely good stuff. Uh, yeah, fantastic. You know, if you see them out there, give them a shot. Um, Awaken, and I'll, I'll give this to you. Awaken NC LLC. That's the business card here. It's Matt and his wife, as you see, it's a Christian company. It's got some Psalms on there. The other side of his business card. There's the information on there. Um, yeah, check out his website. He's got a nice website. It goes over uh, the multiple products he has. And I'm definitely going to be trying some some of his different uh, blends. And I'm um, sorry, his scents. It looks like he's got some really nice uh, woody type scents for me. So definitely going to check more out and I'll keep you in the loop. Um, give him a shot. You know what you got to lose? Help a, a, another small business out there trying to make it in the world today, in this crazy world, and, uh, you know, this thing we call beard life. So that's all I got for you today. I know it was kind of long, but I like to focus on these small businesses, as you know, to try to get the word out because these marketing budgets are so expensive and uh, these guys need our help. And there's a lot of good companies out there, a lot of great products that we won't ever see if we don't talk about them. So check them out. Awaken NC LLC. That's all the Beer Texas got for you today. Live life, do it up, and keep it furry. Beer Texan out.